This is Willie Griswold from the Bob and Tom Show, joined by Kostaki M Mother. Mm. This is Willie Griswold <laughs> of the Bob and Tom Show. I'm joined by Kostaki Economopoulos <laughs> and defensive end Will Ghostin. Good morning, Will. Good morning. Good morning. How you guys doing? Good to see you, man. We got a question for you off the top. Mm -hmm. you're, you're king for a day. You're Roger Goodell. You get to change one NFL rule. What is it? Which rule bugs you the most? No offsides. Oh, no offsides. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're going for it. No offsides. Yeah. <laughs> if he flinches, go. Yeah, okay. All right. Not even like a one Mississippi, two mm -mm. Mississippi, mm -mm. like That's, backyard football? He yeah. puts his hand on the ball. You see it move a centimeter. Get off the ball. <laughs> go. I've got another silly question. People are kind of angry at the Pro Bowl right now. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want a game played at all. They're playing dodgeball. It's kind of silly stuff. If you had the option, what silly game would you like to see played in the Pro Bowl? Maybe like an egg race, maybe karaoke night, that or AFC versus NFC, have the Manning brothers just box on live television. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the boxing would be cool. <laughs> but I literally thought, you know, egg race, but have the spoon in your mouth. Can't drop the egg. Oh, yeah. Old school. What position would be the best at an egg race, you think? Offensive line. Yep. <laughs> Offensive line. Easy. I've got another pretty Easy. dumb question. Uh, you've got to keep your body in check. Mm -hmm. But after a win, when you want to celebrate, have a little cheat day, what is your go-to fat guy meal? Mm. You want just like, I eat a lot, bro. Yeah, no, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I'm a big dude. We got plenty of time. Let's see. Uh, for the day, like the next day, Victory Monday, I'm going with breakfast. I'm having about three waffles. Oh. <laughs> Strawberries and whipped cream. I thought oh. you were gonna say three eggs. No, <laughs> a four egg omelet with spinach, no cheese. Uh, lunch. <laughs> yes. We doing a big bowl of ramen. <laughs> yes. With the eggs, pork belly, chicken broth, and for dinner we might slap on a, a grill, a few bratwurst, whole chicken, <laughs> and like a bowl of vegetables. It's a man after your own heart, Willie. Yeah. A whole chicken, <laughs> like you're a divorced dad <laughs> eating a rotisserie over the sink. Bratwurst, whole chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, did you have a, uh, did you have a, I, I can do this moment? Like, did you have a moment when you were coming into the league and you were like, oh, I can hang with these guys? Did was there was there one moment where you're like, okay, I'm For good sure. here? What was it? My, the uh, first sack I ever got, a night game against Miami. Came up the middle. I ripped. Uh, they had one of the pounces at center. I got oh. past him, sacked the quarterback. I looked up. I said, oh, yeah, I can oh. do this. Oh. I can do this. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Yeah. What a feeling, man. Yeah, man. Did you have that at, at earlier levels, too? Were there beats along the way where you're like, oh, okay, like you're intimidated coming into high school, and then you have one of those kind of moments then, too? I was really one of those knucklehead, cocky dudes when I was in high school. Okay. I, I got humbled in college, but in high school, I felt like there's no way, there's nothing else I was going to do but be an NFL player. But when I was in college, I got humbled. So. Really? How, tell us about that. Uh, Wisconsin. No, no, no. I, yeah, it was against Wisconsin. The running back chipped me. We on, I, I know it because I, I think in plays. I got chipped on the 10-yard line, so I'm up in the air. I jumped to try to bat the ball down. Off in the tackle, grabs me in, by my shoulder pads, slam me on my neck. My defense. Oh, you were in the air and he grabbed oh, you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> defensive coordinator. Oh. Uh, Slow-mo, rewind, oh. slow-mo, oh. rewind. Oh. It's like an alley-oop with a person. Oh. Just slamming oh. them down. And I was like, dang, I guess I, guess I do got to work at this. So. Okay, that's good for you. That's cool, man. I like that. All right, go ahead, Will. Yeah, I was just going to have to beef up a little bit more whole chicken and bratwurst. Yeah, man. <laughs> Is there any uh, dumb purchase you made after your first contract? <laughs> yeah. There was a bunch of them. Uh, but the dumbest thing I bought, I think I spent about, I spent a lot of money on uh, candles, scented candles. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> I thought you were going to say like a weird aquarium. You know, I yeah. spent like. Well, close to five, six thousand dollars on cinnamon candles. <laughs> five to, I thought I thought you were to say like you went to Target and spent two fifty. Mm -mm. Five. <laughs> Mm -mm. That's a lot of candles, man. See, I'm, I like to be an open and honest person. You know what I'm saying? You guys are laughing at my trauma. No, no, no. Well, also not to I'm be just rude. trying to imagine. How many candles is that? Bro. Usually it's like a badass car or like a weird pet. And not to be rude, you look like one of the toughest guys I've ever met. I like that you're just like, I like my, my house to smell like clean oh, linens. Yeah. I get I get an apple cider for the, for the fall time. You know, crack open that door from a long day's work and you just smell that aroma. Mm. Sit down, kick your feet up, sir. You've earned it. 
That sounds like something yes. that like a nice young lady would like to do. <laughs> <laughs> just to hear a big dove guy. Look, I like to. I get a bath. I run a bath. I put a bath bomb in there. I light some candles. See? Yeah, oh, you're. Are in? You, you joking? But no, this is this is me. No, I gotta th- kick the feet. This up. is what I like to do, and okay. I'm not a real man. So I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to see someone with traditional masculine values <laughs> you know. playing my game. Yeah, man. That's the best game to play. It's, it's not checkers, it's chess. Man. <laughs> uh, ever been on a dark retreat? Yeah. A dark retreat? A darkness retreat? Aaron Rodgers is talking about going to a house for four days with no light and no interaction and no music. Oh, like where you put all your electronics away and stuff like that? No, nothing. Like a cabin? I guess. In the woods? I guess. Yeah, I went snowboarding. He said it was a little house. Yeah. All, all darkness. No nothing. No interaction. Oh, so no like with, with candles instead? I would, I, that would be me. They didn't say candles. <laughs> he implied it was dark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, on a, on a serious note, when it comes to uh, playing in the NFL, I've been playing for a few years, you do need to be able to take a step to the side and handle your, your mental. Oh, I can't imagine. Bro, just, especially with him. He's on TV all the time. Like he, mm. He's one of the guys where, oh, the fingers, the cameras, everything is always pointed at him. The headlines, so I, I, right. I think that's heavy. Like, that's heavy, and that's that's a huge step. I'm glad he got that awareness going. It would be it. <laughs> Uh, to go more on a serious note, get away from the funny a little bit, uh, what foundations do you like to help out? Uh, so now, I'm, right now, here today, I'm with uh, ACS American Cancer Society. Uh, I, I work with them with the Crucial Catch program. Um, nice. I also work with uh, the George Edgecombe Society at Moffitt, uh, also a cancer research center. Um, it's, a, it's a bunch of them I work with, uh, but really the, the things I like to tackle is cancer, uh, Hunger awareness, like food awareness, like some people not eating, and homelessness. So those yeah. are the three things, groups I work with. Well, uh, to get back to the silly, if it's okay, Will. And once sure. again, this is uh, Willie Griswold and Kostaki Economopoulos. We're joined by Will Ghostin. Will, would you mind holding this microphone and reading a joke off that cue card for us? Any joke you would like, take oh. your pick. I'm, I'm from Detroit, so I'm, I'm going to read this one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Tough year for the Packers. Losing <laughs> to the Lions is one of the worst things that happened to Wisconsin since lactose intolerance. There it is. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for joining us. That was Will Ghost, and thank you for joining us, Will. Oh, no doubt. Thanks for inviting me, man. This is fun. All right, this is the Bob and Tom coverage of Radio Row, and we are here in Phoenix, Arizona.